Mm. That's actually really, really good. Peter McKinnon vibes, right? Except with hot chocolate. <laughs> Let's start the vlog. Hey, I need your help with a video. Right now? Yeah, I need your help right now. Can I just do one more? One more and then you gotta help me. I know I'm gonna fall. You're not gonna fall. Look, even this thing came off. What thing? This piece of wood, it's not here no more. Okay, but you're not sitting <gasps> on that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, Tristan here and I am back with another video. Today I am coming to you from the beautiful Idlewild, California, up here in the mountains. Steph and I came up here for Thanksgiving break just to get away from all the hustle and bustle. Her parents are out of town um, and it's just us two so we decided to come up here to the mountains, chill in the cabin. We're actually leaving tomorrow but the main reason I wanted to come up here is because I wanted to compare the Moment 60 Tele lens to the new Moment 58 Tele lens. I don't know if you guys can see that. Focus, focus. All right, good. So I've had the 60 telephoto lens for a solid year now, and I really like this lens. I've been happy with it thus far. I use it mostly for portraits. They look really good. The portraits look really good when you shoot in portrait mode with this lens, and I seldom use it for landscapes. I don't find it appropriate for landscapes most of the time, but that's just my personal preference. Um, when Moment announced this 58 millimeter lens last week, I was actually boarding a plane heading to Washington, D.C. I went ahead and bought it. I don't know, I didn't know if the transaction went through until I landed. It was still like processing, but once I landed, I got the email that the order did go through, and I heard that these lenses sold out in about half an hour, so I'm one of the lucky few that was able to get this lens. Before we get into the techie stuff, as always, I have to unbox this lens, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Um, the one thing I don't like about these boxes moment is this tab up here is so hard to pull up sometimes, and I don't want to ruin the box, but I end up ruining the box. There, I got it. So I'm going to open it up, and as always, is the picture card that comes with each moment lens that you purchase. This one is by Aloha Crabs, and it's a nice photo. They're in the mountains as well, just like just like we are. So, first things first is the the bag that it comes in. Um, it's a carbon fiber bag, and you can always use it to wipe your lens off if it's dirty. You can see the 58 millimeter right there, the telly, and here is the lens cap. And one thing I forgot, also with every photo card, is the directions on the back on how to mount the lens. It's really easy. Last but not least is the 58 Moment Tele lens. And this is a much bigger lens than the 60 millimeter. Here, here's a little size comparison. It's a little bulkier, it's a little heavier. Let me take this lens cap off, but 60 millimeter, 58 millimeter. These are the two lenses that I will be comparing today. Now for the techie stuff. So after reading about this lens, I learned that it was made optimized for the newer phones that have been released this year, like the Pixel 3 and the iPhone 10 XS, XR, Max X, whatever these phones are called. And honestly, these newer iPhones weren't compelling enough for me to want to upgrade. I'm sticking with my 10 until next year. Also, some of you just got the 10 last year, or maybe even this year, and aren't eligible for an upgrade yet. So in this video, I'm gonna answer the question, is this lens worth buying for the regular 10? And is the two millimeter focal length a big deal? I'm gonna answer these questions with these photos coming up right now. So what is this setup? Okay, so since we're testing out different focal lengths and I wanna compare the native camera and both the lenses, I wanna make sure I take the picture from the same exact spot in order for it to be a accurate um, depiction of what you're seeing on the screen. So I can compare the shots taken from different focal lengths but taken from the same spot, if that makes sense. <laughs>
these <gasps> photos. Ooh. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. All right, so after reviewing the images taken on the 60 and the 58 millimeter tally and the native iPhone camera, I can honestly say I don't really see any dramatic difference between these lenses aside from the focal length. So with that said, if you have neither of these lenses, I would go ahead and get the 60 millimeter only because it's $30 cheaper. Now, if you did upgrade your phone to the XX, the XR, the XS Max, or the Pixel 3, these newer phones, I would still go ahead and get the 58 millimeter only because it is optimized for those larger, more powerful image sensors. So as for me, again, I wasn't compelled to upgrade this year. I'm gonna see what Apple comes out with next year, and then I'll probably upgrade. And when I do upgrade, I'll do a proper review of this 58 millimeter lens. Now, one final thing before I end this video. Moment is having a special Cyber Monday deal starting today for the next 72 hours. So you have now, until Wednesday to get 20% off everything in the Moment store. So go ahead and please take advantage of that deal. Again, it's only 72 hours. Get a special gift for your loved one, your friend, whatever, your mom, your dad, your auntie, whoever is into photography, mobile photography in your family. This would make for an excellent gift. And maybe get one for yourself as well. That's why you're watching the video, right? So that wraps it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every single Sunday. I uploaded it today, Monday, because of this deal. So please forgive me. Follow me on social media and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Tristan Irvin. Peace.